All right, so um, Rhino came out with an update. I think it's 1.05. Um, a few days ago, a couple weeks ago, that resolved some of the issues I was having with the Art 2, mainly about setting up movements. Um, when you'd set up a keyframe on one side and then they set up another keyframe on the other side, um, a lot of times when it was going from keyframe to keyframe, it, it would just stop after it reached the first uh, keyframe the starting point. Anyway, they released that firmware update. I'm going to test it out today while also showing some um, demonstration shots. So... <laughs> thing I'm going to do is um, this works standalone as well but I'm going to do it with the app just so I can record the screen and let you see everything in the final video so let's see what we got here go to art 2 connect it's connecting okay so we're going to be in video mode today what we're gonna do is let it know we're on the high speed. I'm gonna calibrate. Now it makes a lot of noise when it's calibrating, but it doesn't make that kind of noise when it is actually doing a shot. So you don't have to worry about all the noise at that point. Okay, it is calibrated. Now I'm going to add a key for, actually let's go with the duration. Let's make a duration. Let's just leave it at the default, you know, just for the sake of this video. Let's add a keyframe. So we're going to use the phone, the iPhone as a remote. So we're going to set a keyframe here. We're going to turn it this way. And let's say, let's focus on that ring light right there. Okay. Try to center that as much as possible. Frame. Okay, let's just say that's it. That's the first keyframe. Hit the checkbox. Okay, then we're gonna slide over to here. And let's make the second keyframe focus on that monitor here. My widescreen monitor. Let's say that. Upwards a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to Add that check okay so we hit the start button and it's going to return to point a or point one really keyframe one okay now when we hit it again what it's going to do is it's i have it on loop notice it has loop on loop off i have it on loop and uh, it's going to loop back and forth from looking at the, the uh, ring light to looking at the wide angle monitor over here so we hit start and it will need to go through notice it's counting up to 20 seconds sliding to the right also panning to the right okay so it's centered on this monitor over here and then it returns Okay, now see before this update, anytime I'd set up movements like that, at least half the time, it wouldn't complete even moving back to the start point like it did. So, you know, thumbs up to uh, Rhino for resolving that issue and a few others. You can go to their website and look under their blog and they will explain everything they fixed in this most recent update. And um, hopefully they'll come out with those five keyframe movements soon because that's the other thing I'm waiting on. Another thing I'd like to see is if they could uh, figure out a way to have the slider doing certain movements, you know, that you would set up while the R2 also does face tracking because it has two face tracking modes. There's a vlog mode and there is a, uh, I think it's called an interview mode. But while you have that in the face tracking mode, 
it does not allow you to use slides, but you know, that would be great to be able to track your subject while also sliding automatically. You know, if that doesn't you know, come to pass, I think I might actually get another um, motorized slider, which I just sold one a couple months ago. Uh, get another motorized slider that will do the slides while the R2 does the track facing, the, while the R2 does the face tracking. Okay, so I'm going to stop that by pressing stop. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm going to come back um, either later today or maybe next week and do some um, simple um, slider shots with the R2. All right, deuces.